Hey, if you dark skin, I'm five seven. You know. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> if you dark skin, I'm five seven. <laughs> I'm sure that is gay. <laughs> Let's get this over with. One, two, three, four. On and on and on and on. Chetty ladies back with another one. Stay tuned because you don't want to miss this one. Hey! Oh. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> Alright guys, so this video as you can see from the title is going to be a mukbang with my two brothers. So introduce yourselves. Oh. I'm Moses. Uh, I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, In the future, God's I, willing. I was about to say, this feels like an AA meeting right now. <laughs> I'm doing um, But I'm 20. Uh, I'm a junior in college. I go to the University of Delaware. I live in Delaware. Um, Damn, don't give him your whole real estate, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you got it. You're right. You're right. No, um, my government, though. Chill. All right, so my name is Mel. I uh, just graduated. I'm 23. I'm old as fuck, you know. I'm out of here. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's your intro. Yeah. Alright, so these are my two <laughs> brothers. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a mukbang. I feel like I said that just a while ago, but let's do that again. Um, We're going to be eating Chinese food and... Wait a second. El Diablo. It's like, it's basically, it's Chipotle, but it's actually good. Okay. So, we don't have like that much food, but we have enough. We have like... Crab rangoons, which are my favorite. We have some chicken wings. You know the essentials, the essentials. Facts. Um, I got. It's okay. Everybody's starving, so we're just gonna start. So you guys don't eat from morning, though. No, no, this is my first meal today. Okay. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> uh, all about the waistband lifestyle, you know. <laughs> You just said waste my lifestyle. <laughs> no! <laughs> the Jamaican in you is keeping the rule. Too, too. Something slight, you know. It's interesting. I feel like people don't understand the Jamaican of myself. You're Jamaican. Or you've dealt with Jamaican people. What I mean? Like, I don't know. Every time I talk to people or I'm like explaining something about Jamaican culture, they're always like, I feel like Jamaicans always do things a little different. Like, nothing's ever just like, this is the way we do it. It's just like, you know, this, like, uh, like yeah. running the food shops in, in the Bronx, you know, you go in there when I have none, everything, macaroni yeah. when I have none. <laughs> Facts. You no. guys have actually experienced that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, I've seen that skit and I'm like, nah, it's a very real thing. Yeah. Yo, go in after, after 2.30. I'm still been all done. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys would say that you like understand and know part of good good good. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, well, test it out. I feel so pressured now. Like I don't know anything Jamaican to say to them. I don't know. Who's the real Jamaican here? <laughs> right? Rogo, no, it's not. Rogo. <laughs> 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 My cousin. Yeah. That's not a thing. It's not. It's not. Well, if it is, I don't know. That's a shame. That's I mean, a... it's very likely that I just don't know. That's a banger right there. Yeah. I'm trademarking that. <laughs> Rugo. Wake up, wake up. No, it's not. not um, Do you guys know what that is? Like, yeah. no, it's not. I'm um, Bogo? Yeah, like, it's not. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just to make sure we're not just sitting. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. So we got some lemonade, courtesy of Wawa. Shout out to Wawa, the right. sponsor. No. <laughs> He's the sponsor. We wish. We aren't making anything us. from this, you know. Uh, nah, but you can sponsor us. Um, I'm her agent, you know. <laughs> and you can you can send all possible business deals my way. You know, go fund me. You know, go fund. Take me up. Hit me up. You gotta go fund me for what? I was about to say, what do you have a go fund me for? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm struggling, you know. I haven't had a meal in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> tell us your story, tell us your story. My story? For just three, sing, sing. Um, in the arms For just three dollars a day, you can help this hopeful med student to achieve his dreams. <laughs> <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> like, 
I think my favorite thing about being Jamaican is explaining Thanksgiving and that we don't eat turkey. I think Jamaicans think turkeys are dirty animals. Nah. Because you don't get that? We know what turkey is. I've never met a Jamaican person that makes turkey. We don't make turkey, but we know what it is. Mm. We make well we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in Jamaica. That's mm. one. But like during Christmas we'll make like chicken and that's when we're on boats and we're on boating. Mm. No, I don't know. We make mad food. Oh, yeah. oh, oh hey, look at you! <laughs> <laughs> How many Jamaican points do you get for that pen? <laughs> mm, let's keep a little scoreboard and edit that in. <laughs> <laughs> so, during Christmas, we'll make like a bag of food, like curry goats, mm. chicken, oxtail. Yo, um, you can have life without curry goat. Mm. Curry goat, oxtail, yo. I, could, I think if I only had one food for the rest of my life, it'd be oxtail. Really? Yeah. Why oxtail? It's so, like, made the right way, oxtail is so tender. The flavor is so deep all at the same time. And it's, it's just like, it just pairs so well with rice and peas. Like, the gravy impeccable. What what other Jamaican food can compare to oxtail? Let me know in the comments. Some hominy corn porridge. Hey! Every <laughs> weekend. I love porridge. I love low low porridge. Yo, and then you you butter the hard dough bread. Perfect. And then put it in it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it soak up. Yep. Nice. I don't know what Jamaica do. Big up or no? <laughs> so, for like a background story, their mom's Jamaican, and obviously my dad's Jamaican. So that's their Jamaican heritage. Don't even the bond in a Jamaica. You guys have been before though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we want to do a trip to Jamaica, but we want to do it like a tourist trip, though. Yeah, like we want to inside look at Jamaica. Like I'm trying to jump off a rooftop into somebody's child, you feel me? <laughs> I can't take it to a dance. <clears throat> I can't take it to a dance. That legit took me a while to get. I was like, what? It's not child. a party if you jump on, if you don't jump on the table and you have to catch your balance. And you jump on, but. And then you then you push your back down and you're like brace yourself because the mother's standing on your back for a quick second. You, you, gotta, you gotta do the yeah. spin now. Nah, I said you have to do this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go out the shop. But yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are Crocs canceled? Um, they're just not good shoes. Like they're just so ugly. They're like you literally. I feel like it's okay. I like on small feet they look fine, but like I just don't like Crocs. I think they're just such an ugly shoe. Oh my god! There's, if there's one shoe I could no, it'd probably be the Fila shoe. If there's you like the <coughs> shoes? I just saw one on Instagram with those saying like I don't buy. No, those are like the the pedophile shoes. Yeah. yeah. Like you have to watch your children if you see someone wearing some Fila. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Growing up in New York, like there were certain brands you just didn't wear. Yeah. Like you didn't wear Puma. Puma's like accepted now though. Like a lot of people wear Puma, but. I don't wear Puma, I don't wear Fila, but it's just ugly. I don't even know why people like Fila shoes though. I think Puma shoes are uglier than Fila shoes. I think Puma shoes are, are disgusting. Yeah. Puma shoes are trash, but mm -hmm. can't be upset. I mean, literally though, if you're in New York and you grew up as a kid wearing Puma, you'd be on suicide watch <laughs> <laughs> after you went to school, man. <laughs> so. Cause you get bullied. Yeah. Like for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the moment you walked in the building, I know you didn't step out of your house. <laughs> it's like come here. <laughs> like, that's it. But it's crazy. And you just get eaten up. Like they play no games, and it's all day. And it's not even like these are people you don't know. These are the people. Like these are your everyday friends. So you these know? are your friends that are potting you. You know they have to. They have to break you down. You know we can't take. Some judgment. Mm -hmm. We can't survive in New York in general. Prepares you for the real world. 
So like, when you watch like TV shows and you see like the bullying on TV, like that's how it happens here? No. There's, that's the sugar coated bully. Mm -hmm. That's the Bobby took my sandal yesterday. But no, that like, happen, like pranking and mm, sometimes like, yeah. locker signs and I, I think no, like, no. That, that's like real middle America. Yeah, like you gotta be like hardcore, like Caucasian. <laughs> <laughs> um, might have to edit that out. <laughs> Don't want to offend anybody here. Yeah. Um. We're just gonna bleep that one. But yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like being bullied in black communities doesn't really happen. Yeah, because you just know it's just a normal thing. It's like, you, I make fun of you, you, oh, excuse me, you make fun of me, and that's just what it is. Not that it should be, you know, we're not supporting that, you know, in any way, but. Yeah. Like, but that's been your experience growing up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's like, I had really, really, really crooked teeth. We'll edit a picture in. You gotta send me that. Oh yeah. I remember those teeth. <laughs> yeah. And I used to get torn up every day. Yeah. And like I'd just be talking and then you just get I'd just get torn up. <laughs> wow. I ain't kill myself. I thought it was funny. Taught me to be quick on my feet. So, I don't know. Like people say stuff now. People aren't even funny anymore. It's just like Did they tease you when you had verses? Yeah, oh, I got torn up for that too. Oh. Shout out to Pitbull, you know. King of Miami. <laughs> Miami. Him and Shakira. Shakira is so not talented. I feel like this needs to be Whoa. said. This Shakira is not talented. Shakira is definitely talented. Shakira's voice is awful. She sounds like she smokes cigarettes. <laughs> Exactly. Like I like Shakira though. Gargling quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was good. Yeah. She's just so bad. But Pitbull? No, Pitbull's tough. Pitbull's terrible, bro. Yo, Pitbull's I tough. Like terrible. You're crazy. I'm a better rapper. You know how many Pitbull classics is. Pitbull has? Like, yo, Pitbull's on all of your favorite tracks. Which one? Like what? Name one. Wait, wait. You hear the crickets? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Rain check. Uh, uh, I'll get back to you on that one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll give you a little Google search job and I can guarantee you. You get some so, fire. Who's like your all time favorite artist? Like of all genres? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. We know who we know who Mel's own is. You know yeah. Ms. Gambino, the god, you know, I'm his personal ambassador. <laughs> I'm playing with you, I don't know, but it's whatever, it's my boy, man. We actually went to a Chinese Gambino concert yesterday. Yeah. It was so good. Life changing, life changing. Oh my god, it was an experience. I wouldn't even call it a concert. It was full on an experience. It was church! It was church! <laughs> Turn yourself <laughs> out! <laughs> I didn't even have time to like make videos. I just enjoyed it. That yeah, was I was like, it was one of the contests where it was almost like I don't feel the need to share this with anyone else. Yeah. He even said it there. He's like, yo, the, them Negroes, they didn't buy no tickets. Exactly. Don't don't show. give them nothing. Just enjoy this experience. Oh yeah, made it so much better. <laughs> that's not trash better. Oh yeah, it's not that good. Literally, it tastes like water. No, that's banging. What? I like it because of how not sweet it is. Ah, you like water. You like real sweet juice. I look like a of water. My beer water me drink. I, I, I see that because you young glow god. I was about to say like you're skin popping. I know like like we I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get on that level. Like, <laughs> I was about to say teach me to glow. Exactly. Like, you just gotta drink water like for real. I drink a lot of water. I mean I have a skincare routine but. My skin got better since I started drinking like lots of water. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to tell people. As cliche as it sounds. Yeah, it really does. But the key like, to my glowing skin is water. water. <laughs> There's no fuck with this dressing you out. Oh. <laughs> spice. That's that's spice. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I was gonna say, biggest age. Toes and drinks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.